Hi guys. So for today's video, I did a quick get ready with me. Well, it's never quick, let's be honest. Uh, so I did a get ready with me for this look. I used uh, mainly the Naked Heat palette, which is amazing. If you guys are a warm um, toned eyeshadow lover, then you definitely need to pick this guy up. Um, so yeah, without me rambling on too much, um, just keep watching if you want to see how I got this look. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Golden Beige. And I'm going to use a Shop Miss A sponge, a pink sponge, to blend that out. Then I'm going to take a spoolie that's wet with some Ultra Glow African Black Soap. This is going to act like a glue and kind of form the eyebrows and kind of lay them how you want them. Then I'm going to take an Essence Small Angled Brush with some e.l.f. Lock on Liner and Brow Cream in the color Medium Brown. I'm going to sketch out the shape of my brow and then I'm going to go ahead and use light strokes to fill in the brow so it gives it more of a natural look. I'm also not going to use too much product in front of the brow just to avoid it looking too drawn on. I'm just going to use a spoolie to blend out everything and make it look more seamless. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a different Essence small angled brush and some foundation. You can use concealer if you'd like. For this video, I used foundation and I'm going to carve out the brow just to clean up any mistakes, any overdraws. This is the best way to get that finished look for your brows. Now I'm just taking a Q-tip and blending out that foundation under my brow just so that it doesn't look as if I'm outlining my brows. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. I use this to set my brows. It's a drugstore easy find, so I like to have something that I can easily and conveniently access when I need to refill. Now we're going to go ahead and finish the face with the Wet n Wild Photos Focus Foundation using that same Shop Missé sponge um, to blend out the foundation. Now I'm going to go in with a new favorite of mine, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Light 20. I'm going to use the same exact sponge to blend it out. I really love this concealer. It is full coverage, in my opinion, medium to full coverage. I'm also going to use it on my lid just as a base for any eyeshadow. I'm working section by section so that the concealer doesn't dry too fast. I'm also going to dab a little bit on my chin and go ahead and blend that out with the same sponge. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Cody Air Spun in Naturally Neutral. I'm going to set the areas where I concealed first, and then I'm going to lightly dust uh, a small amount on the rest of my face just to kind of set it. Now I'm going to go in with this new Kasha brush, it's a powder brush, it's from the limited edition collection. And I'm going to take the Black Radiance Soft Focus Powder in Creamy Bronze to bronze my face just to bring some life back into it, some dimension and some more.
Then I'm going to take a small brush from the same set, the Sony Kashuk set, and the Morphe 9C contour palette. And I'm going to use that to go ahead and carve out my cheeks, um, the sides of my nose, and my chin area, just to give my face more definition and a nice contour look. Then going in with an AOA Studios F13 brush, I believe it's a blush brush, not sure. Um, I'm using that to go ahead and apply my blush, which is an e.l.f. blush. One of the e.l.f. blush palette um, colors, it's the peachy one, I'm not sure what the color name is, but that's the one I'm using. Then I'm going to take my Cody Airspun and carve out my cheeks to kind of let it bake for a little bit. This is also going to clean up any blush or contour that may have gotten too low on my cheeks. And I'm just taking a makeup sponge to apply that, make sure I have a precise line. Now going in with the Naked Heat palette and the Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to go ahead and take Sauce in the transition area. And I'm just going to keep building up that color, just keep going back and forth in windshield wiper motions, applying more color. I'm only going to use two colors in the crease area and one on the lid. So it's a pretty simple look, but it's going to look more polished because I'm going back and forth with the same colors. Now taking a more precise brush, which can either be the Morphe M433 or the Sigma E25 or the Coastal Sense 250. I'm going to go ahead and take the color He Devil and it's a little bit of a darker, warmer color. I'm going to use the brush and go back and forth, making sure I get most of the color on the outer edge and bring it in slightly. Then I'm going to go ahead and brush it across the lower lid. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my finger and apply the color Scorched on the lid. This is going to give you maximum pigmentation and it's going to help apply it faster and more intense. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the smaller brush and touch up the outer edges just to blend it out if any of the new color on the lid looks a little choppy. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush and make sure I get that color on the inner corner. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my fluffy brush from Real Techniques, which is what I used um, for setting my powder. I'm going to go ahead and take that and brush off the bake, just to make sure that I get all of that extra powder off. Now for mascara, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro Mascara. Uh, I think my camera battery died, but I did apply it to both um, eyes and on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to take ColourPop Flexitarian. It's a highlighter. It's a beautiful, intense highlighter. I'm going to use a small pencil brush on the inner corner. I'm also going to use this highlighter on the rest of my face. Now taking my Morphe M501 brush, I'm taking that Flexitarian and putting it at the tops of my cheeks, making sure I get the tip of my nose and the cupid's bow. I don't always highlight the cupid's bow, but I felt like doing it today. Now for my lips, I have a new favorite. It is the ColourPop, I believe it's one of the satin lipsticks, the satin liquid lipsticks in Calypso. It's a beautiful rosy pink color, but it looks pretty natural. I think it pairs really well with my eyes, but this is also my new favorite lippy. I do overdraw a little bit because my lower lip is bigger than my upper lip, so I kind of try to match them and make my lips look more full and even. I hope you guys 
enjoy this look. I like it. It's right in my wheelhouse because I love warm looks. Okay guys, so that's how I got this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I wanted to post something, kind of get ready with me, just because I have a couple of new products that I've been using and trying. Let me know if you want to see any um, favorites videos or anything like that. I'd be happy to show you because there are a lot of new favorites that I have. Um, some oldies but goodies, but most of the stuff is new. I am always looking and searching for new items, especially in the drugstore. So let me know what your new favorites are, um, especially if they're drugstore items. I do like the accessibility and the affordability of drugstores, so I try to keep that with my everyday routine. Aside from usually the eyeshadow palettes that I don't necessarily get at the drugstore. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me and being so patient with me. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.